CataractCoach.com, the lens snare splits the nucleus and the bag. That lens loop may not be as gentle as you think. How do you manage the case? Watch carefully. There's a nice looking rexus. Dense nucleus, I get it. Generous rexus, hydrodise section being done. Yeah, we sped the video up. So nice hydrodise section to separate the capsule. And now even addition, extra dispersive viscoelastic to separate the capsule and create a gap there between the capsule and the nucleus so that this, the loop, can be placed around the lens nucleus. Now, that's gonna, that snare is going to split the nucleus, right? Watch carefully. Chopper is being used just to hold everything still so it doesn't snap around or move too much inside the eye to keep control there. The lens snare or the lens loop goes all the way through there. And let's see, is it split? It is split. The nucleus is split. But is everything okay? Let's watch and find out. So here we go. Now, rotating the nucleus. Now, watch carefully. As you rotate the nucleus, why is there such a huge gap between the two halves? Look at that. This is your sign right away. Caps or bag is split wide open. Absolutely wide open. Where's the one nuclear half? It's gone up behind that iris, but you understand eye anatomy. That's going into the anterior vitreous. So you can go with the phaco probe and try to pull it back. But you're going to get vitreous prolapse here in the anterior segment of the eye very shortly. Look at the huge gap there. That big nuclear chunk, that hemineucleus is stuck way over there. So we, have, we can bring it back. This is the point at which I'd say, you know what? It's time to convert to a manual extraction here, SICS procedure. In fact, a lot of young surgeons I know would have seen that really brunescent lens and said at the beginning, let's just do SICS. And so here, surgeon's going in with more viscoelastic. I like that idea. Don't let the AC collapse. Don't cause zero pressure in the AC. You don't want vitreous to come forward. Now using more viscoelastic, trying to get those pieces up. This is the point where I think FACO's done. So two capsule support hooks there, but I don't think the issue is the anterior capsule rim. I think the issue is the posterior capsule. So again, trying to buzz in with the phaco probe to bring that piece up. This is risky, 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 because think about it, there's just no posterior capsule. You're going to get vitreous prolapse shortly, and there's nothing really preventing this lens from falling back. So a surgeon's going to make an attempt here to get this first half of the nucleus out with the phaco probe, and it's dense. Look at this, putting a lot of phaco energy in the eye, be careful, don't get a fake a wound burn. So let's see now, more viscoelastic behind it. I like that idea, good move, good move. This is a tough case, it's stressful. What can you do, right? You know this case is going to be difficult going in. And sometimes you can't predict these things. And yes, these, are, these instruments like a lens loop can be helpful, etc. But nothing's without risk. And you know, as surgeons, we take on that risk every day when we operate. So let's see, progress being made, removing that first hemineucleus. So that piece is coming up. And then, yeah, I wouldn't do too much more chopping because I don't want to create multiple pieces inside the eye that are just going to potentially fall back. So again, this is stressful, stressful, stressful. Plenty of viscoelastic here. Open up plenty of viscoelastic. So now it looks like maybe the first half is almost done. By some uh, good stroke of luck here, that first half of the nucleus Looks like it's just about fully aspirated. And then there's still a remaining piece in the bag. Now remember where the, the break of the capsule was, was on the right side of your screen there, so away from the incision. So sub-incisional space, there should be some reasonable support. So again, more viscoelastic going in. I like the idea. Yeah, there's no posterior capsule. Look how beautiful that red reflex is. That's because there's just no support. So more viscoelastic. Remember, too much viscoelastic here can actually spread and break your posterior capsule even more. Now let's see what happens. Bring this piece up. I'd get it up. Oh, gosh, not that direction. Again, stressful. Things don't always go as the way we're planned. Oh, boy. Just, yeah, that piece has got to go up, but it's going too far away from you. It's a little too far in the eye. What do you do now? I want you guys to give an opinion down below. Do you let it go? Is it too far gone, that hemineucleus? There's a half a nucleus there. Is it too far gone? Can you still salvage it? Can you get it out now? Or do you let it go and have your vitreoretinal colleague do pars plane of attractive pars plane lensectomy? What do you do at this point? Do you clean it up? Do you try still put a lens in at this point? Or do you leave the patient as is, aphagic, with that nuclear piece there and send the patient to your vitreoretinal colleague? There is no wrong answer here other than don't fish in the vitreous cavity with the phaco probe. That's probably not the best idea. But if you want to clean up the anterior segment, get a sulcus lens in, then send the patient to your retinal colleague, that's re very reasonable. If you want to just leave the patient as is, just suture the main incision. Oh, that piece is gone. 
That piece is gone. There's just no way of getting a hold of it now. It's too far gone. And you don't want to put traction on the, on the vitreous because that's going to put traction on the retina. You end up with a giant retinal tear. You don't want to do that. So if you can't get this thing up, you can't get it up. You can, you, you can do an antivitrectomy now if you'd like to. Or listen, even right now, it's okay. Take out those two capsule hooks, the capsule retractors. Suture up the main incision. Leave the patient aphagic. Send the patient to the retina specialist. And the patient's going to have a pars plantar lensectomy, pars plantar vitrectomy, and can have still a reasonably good outcome. So, again, hard to predict these things happening. Looks like what now? Bimanual IA or is that a vitrectomy cutter? Maybe cleaning up some cortex? Yeah, I guess that's reasonable to do also. Again, leave a comment below. What would you do in this situation? Tough case. I'm not sure there's a great answer to do anything here. And I also leave me a comment. Why do you think the capsule broke? Was it the fault of the lens loop device, the lens snare? Maybe it was. I want to remind you, we have a contest coming up, a resident surgical video competition. Yes, you can win cash prizes, including a grand prize check from me to you. The directions are going to be here on the screen, but if you want the click-through links, you're going to have to go to cataractcoach.com. Yes, you'll have to leave, leave YouTube for a moment and go to the actual website, cataractcoach.com. Click on today's video link, and you'll have the hot links there for instructions of how to upload your video and what are the criteria. And yes, you can win this contest. I promise. You got to enter, though, right?